everyone. Thanks again for joining our webinar today. Today's webinar topic is air quality, choosing the right equipment for your lab. Our speaker is Mark Castanero from Quattro Air Technologies. Mark, thanks so much for being here with us today and partnering to make this webinar possible. So now I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, thank you very much, Katie. I appreciate it. Uh, certainly appreciate the opportunity to address everybody. Thank you all for tuning into this webinar. Um, as Katie mentioned, my name is Mark Castanero. I'm the Director of Sales for Quattro. Um, the goal of this webinar is to shed a little light on air quality in the dental lab. More specifically, we'll cover the importance of air purification and choosing the right equipment to help achieve the highest level of air quality for everyone in the lab. Now, dental labs are a little like small factories and particulate matter and odors that are generated eight to 10 hours a day tend to accumulate in the air inside your factory. And that can create a less than desirable environment for everyone working there. Traditional factories, when they're initially built, are usually designed with proper ventilation in mind. But dental labs are usually grown from within an office style building envelope with not much thought given to air quality, ventilation, or proper air changes. Now, according to a 2017 study, dental professionals had the dubious honor of boasting the number one most unhealthy job in America. Understanding the health risks involved with working in the dental industry has really helped me understand just how important air quality is. And arming you with accurate information is the first step towards creating a cleaner working environment for you and your team. As you know, dust accumulates on the floors, desktops, and lab equipment. Some dust particles generated in the lab are large enough for the body to trap and expel from the nose, throat, and lungs. However, ultra-fine dust particles, or UFPs, like the dust from zirconia, can stay airborne for two to three weeks at a time. Submicron particles are the most dangerous particles. The smaller the particle, the deeper in the lungs they penetrate, making it difficult for our bodies to expel them. Airborne particulate in the lab is not the only threat to your health. Inhaling harmful odors generated from mixing liquid acrylic and from trimming and grinding hardened acrylic also puts your health at risk. Other odors like the off gases from 3D printers or alcohol cleaning stations also pose a health risk and need to be captured when you're considering air purification in the lab. Achieving the highest levels of air quality is a two-step process. And the best way to clean the air in your lab is to efficiently capture contaminants at source. Source capture is the most effective when you combine maximum airflow with the best accessory to help you get as close to the source as possible. The more airflow you have at each station, the more dust and odor you can capture. The remaining airborne particles and odor can be captured with an air purifier. Without an efficient air purifier, dust particles can remain suspended in the environment for extended periods of time. And they have a negative impact on both the operators and sensitive lab equipment, ultimately affecting productivity and increasing operational costs. For both steps, HEPA filtration is an absolute necessity. True HEPA filters are 99.97% efficient in capturing particles as small as 0.3 microns in size. And I'll put that into perspective, the human hair is about 50 microns in diameter, and the human eye can't see anything smaller than 40 microns. So with coverage of particles down to 0.3 microns, true HEPA filters cover the complete spectrum of particulate generated in the lab. Air quality systems should be addressing areas of the lab where dust and odor contaminants are being generated. The most obvious area would be milling machines, as most manufacturers require a dedicated dust collector connected directly to the milling machine's exhaust port. Bench applications can be fairly simple or more complex depending on the workload. That is volume of debris being generated, number of workstations and hours of operation. There's a lot to unpack there, so we'll come back to that workload in a minute. Heavy duty applications like sandblasting or dye model trimming requires dedicated suction systems to handle the workload. 
oftentimes these high volume high volume applications piggyback with other workstations rendering the dust collection system overworked and underappreciated. The rise in popularity of 3D printing has introduced new odors into the lab, adding to the harmful fumes from mixing acrylics or burnout ovens, so that's certainly an area of concern. And finally, air purifiers for the room are expected to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week to capture airborne dust and odor. If there's a buildup of visible dust on the floors and desks, then there's work to be done at source capture. Air purifiers are for cleaning the finer invisible particles and odors that remain airborne for longer periods of time. Quattro has been making air purifiers for almost 30 years now and specific dust and fume collectors for the dental industry for about 20 years. We manufacture dust collectors for CAD CAM applications that work with just about any milling machine on the market. Each milling machine has a specific interface cable that communicates with the dust collector to turn it on and off automatically. All of our CAD CAM units include that cable. We also manufacture a wide variety of suction units and accessories for workbench applications. Our vacuum systems work on all dry materials from aluminous oxide to zirconia as well as off-gases from dental lab-related applications. Whether it be dye model trimming, mixing acrylics, or general air purification, we can help you find the right solution for the job. Now, why should you be choosing Quattro products over our competitors? Well, we're known as the engineers of clean air, and as such, we don't sell or make air compressors or workbenches. We really focus on the business of air quality. So we make suction systems and air purifiers. We have tech and customer service personnel ready to take your calls. Someone will definitely answer the phone when you call us. If we can't get to the phone, we usually call you back within an hour or so, so at least you know that you'll be able to speak to somebody. Our Montreal-based factory is where all the magic happens, from design and production to marketing and warehousing. It all happens under one roof. We also use heavy-duty steel in all of our designs to make sure that our products meet the highest standard of quality that you've come to expect from Quattro. All of our systems are equipped with HEPA filters, which is an absolute necessity today with materials generating more UFPs than ever before. And with customers in over 35 countries worldwide, Quattro is known around the globe for our quality and service. We manufacture and sell powerful dust collectors and accessories for just about every dental lab application. And we offer a wide variety of workbench accessories specific to each of those applications. Quattro also makes a wide variety of reliable products that help to capture and clean harmful odors and fumes. For labs that mix acrylic or have conventional burnout ovens, technicians are exposed to hazardous off gases that need to be captured and eliminated. These units suck up those gases and send clean air back into the room. Now, putting clean air back into the room is, rather than ducting the fumes to the outside, means saving money on heating and air conditioning costs. So if lab owners do want to have their exhaust to the outside, we definitely have options for that as well. 3D printing, <coughs> isopropyl cleaning stations, and any other odor producing application needs some kind of air cleaning solution either at source like these units or with a standalone air purifier or a combination of both. Choosing one of our standalone air purifiers is based on the size of the room and the contaminants that you wish to clean, dust, odor, or maybe even both. If done efficiently, vacuum systems can capture about 70% of dust particles and harmful odors at source before they become airborne. The right choice of air purifier can take care of the other 30%. Our multi-staged air purifiers are equipped with brushless blower motors designed for continuous use to clean the air 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So basically that's an overview of all the products that we offer. Although we are focused in our product offering, we know that we have a lot of products to offer. And sometimes it can be a little overwhelming to know exactly what to buy and when to buy it. So when it comes to dust collectors, there's a couple of questions that you can answer to help narrow down the number of options available. For example, what is the application? 
Well, if it's a CAD CAM application, then we're going to want to know what the workload is or how many hours a day the dust collector is expected to work. And then we're going to want to know what your preference is in terms of the kind of system you're looking for. Is it a self-cleaning system or is it a filter bag system? For CAD CAM applications, the selection process is fairly simple. It's based on workload. So if you're only milling one or two hours a day, then there's no need to spend the extra money on a larger unit with a brushless motor, for example. But if you're milling four to five hours a day, you, know, you don't wanna be changing undersized filter bags every second day, or certainly don't wanna be changing motors every six months or so. Having to replace filters or motors too frequently means downtime, and that means a loss of revenue and increased operating costs. So determining the workload is a key to choosing the right dust collector. For heavy duty, heavy duty milling applications, you should be considering a brushless motor um, system. So in the case of our IVAC twin series, you can see here that for example, for someone that's milling eight hours a day, you'd be expected to replace the unit's two motors every 12 months or so at a cost of about $325 per year. Now, by upgrading to a brushless motor system, your motor would last about 10 years. Well, the four to $500 more you spend up front for a brushless motor unit, it'll save you a lot of money in the long run in terms of replacement parts and reduced downtime. Once the workload is determined, labs can choose between self-cleaning systems or filter bag systems. Self-cleaning systems are designed to automatically clean the filters by vibrating the main filter at regular intervals. This cleaning system works automatically, so there's no operator intervention necessary. The vibrations cause debris to loosen from the filter and settle in a capture tray below. The tray is removed and emptied whenever necessary. There are no filter bags to replace. Now the filter bag where our health smart systems have sealable filter bags that are easy to dispose of when needed. They tend to be generally cleaner as dust is kept sealed away rather than being exposed. Some labs prefer one type of system over the other, so it's important for you to know that we have both. Both systems are equipped with intelligent control panels, so as the filters do their job and the pressure builds in the system, the motor speed will automatically increase to maintain consistent airflow visual and audible alerts will sound whenever the filters need replacing. And again, both systems are equipped with HEPA filters. Here's a selection guide that uh, we came up with to help summarize the CAD CAM dust collector uh, options for that Quattro offers. So if you're looking at workload, for example, you could see at the top here where we have milling applications of one to two hours a day, two to four hours a day, four to six hours a day, and six plus hours a day. And then your choice of self-cleaning units or filter bag units. So in the case of the six plus hours, we definitely would recommend brushless units. Again, you don't wanna be changing motors on a regular basis. The downtime is something that nobody can really afford. So brushless motors, definitely the way to go for heavier applications. For bench applications, we need a few more details to help narrow down the choices that are available. As with CAD CAM systems, you can choose between self-cleaning or filter bag suction units. To help determine the workload and manage airflow properly, you need to know and decide how many workstations will be connected to the suction unit. And finally, how much debris is expected to be generated from those workstations. And that helps with debris management and disposal. So we can dig a little bit deeper here. Um, when we're talking about um, the number of workstations, well, we're referring to the number of active workstations. So as an example, you may have a lab with six or eight workstations in need of suction. However, if there's only two technicians working at any given time, then really you only need a dust collector to handle two active workstations. So maximizing the airflow to those two active workstations means blocking off the airflow to the inactive ones. You can accomplish that by installing slide valves at each station. Our 
auto start valves or ASVs are connected by wire to the dust collector to turn the unit on and off automatically when the slide valve is opened or closed. Managing debris is also important when considering a dust collector. You may not have the room for a larger unit, but you also don't want to have to change filter bags once a day. So we offer systems that meet the specific workload of each application. Still on the topic of managing workload, we're often asked how many hours our motors are expected to last. Motor replacement costs and downtime are important to any lab owner. So choosing a unit that can handle the proper workload, but still be space saving and cost effective are key factors to consider when choosing the right system. Now we have three different motors that, into our, that we use in our systems. So a turbo motor, for example, uh, actually has a lifespan of about 2000 hours. However, it is a brushed motor and as such, you'll have to change those brushes every 500 hours or so. Many of our other systems have infinity motors, and those infinity motors are also good for 2,000 hours. It is a brushed motor. However, this motor is designed so that when the brushes are worn, the motor needs to be replaced. So there's no brushes to have to worry about in terms of replacement. And finally, we have our brushless motor that is good for about 20,000 hours of operating time. Now, we'll explain that a little bit more in depth later on in the presentation. Here's the selection guide for bench applications. Now, by getting answers to the few questions that we just spoke about, you can easily zero in on the best solution for the application. Now, there are three callouts on this selection guide that I'd like to spend a little bit more time discussing. The first of which is um, MC squared. So you'll see um, where the MC squared is available. The MC squared is a feature that is available on some of our units where you can plug a handpiece or a lathe into our unit instead of plugging it into the wall. This feature will automatically start and stop the dust collector whenever the handpiece or the lathe is turned on or off. The second call out is brushless motors that we touched on. Well, the brushless motors are available on some units, especially the heavier duty applications. Brushless motors have a lifespan of 10 times longer than our infinity motors. Again, somewhere around 20,000 hours. And the last call out is um, with regards to valves. So whenever you see where valves are um, required, you'll see that on a couple of different places. The valves are required when you get into multiple workstations. So it's important to divert the airflow to active workstations and block the airflow at the inactive ones. There's lots to choose from. So if you can't quite figure it out based on this selection guide, please just give us a call for a, for a consultation. I briefly mentioned dedicated systems for heavy duty applications like dye model trimming or sandblasting. And if I can dive a little deeper here, Typically, these applications generate a lot of debris, and sometimes the volume is so high that secondary capture devices are recommended. A cyclone collector that would be installed between the sandblaster and the dust collector will capture the heavier particles, reducing the workload on the dust collector. And we've seen labs place the, um, the bucket with a, uh, a plastic bag as a liner and make disposal a little easier. Reducing the workload on the dust collector means filters last longer, motors last longer, and maintenance downtime is reduced. When selecting the best odor capture system for desktop 3D printers, alcohol cleaning stations, traditional burnout ovens, or when mixing acrylic, it always comes down to how much space you have available. So we have three types of systems and I'll show them to you in order of efficiency. So if you have the room on the workbench or a counter, a desktop containment system, or what we call a DCS, is the most efficient way to capture monomer fumes or other harmful odors. Hinged plexiglass doors make it easy to access the cabinet's interior and creates the negative pressure needed to suck up odors through the filters and send clean air back into the room. We also sell an exhaust kit for those labs that wish to exhaust the fumes to the outside. 
the LED illuminated cabinets come in two sizes, depending on the space available. Not every lab has the room on the bench or for a cabinet that size. So if you have the room under the bench, then a floor unit would be the next most efficient way to collect, neutralize, and deodorize local monomer fumes. Install the unit beneath the counter and select an accessory to facilitate fume extraction. In this photo, we show examples of a smaller cabinet like our Clearview and a mobile flex arm clamped to the side of the bench. And finally, for those labs that have neither the counter nor the floor space, our wall-mounted ductless fume hood is a great option. Set up your workstation under the hood and run the unit continuously to constantly filter the air beneath it. An exhaust kit is also available for the DFH for those that wish to duct the exhaust outside. For those applications that call for a combination of dust and odor capture, we make some systems that have both. For example, you may have a grinding station and an acrylic mixing station adjacent to each other. One unit will do both jobs, saving you space and money. Depending on the workload, we make systems for light duty applications for one or two stations like the Medivac Mini, as well as heavy duty applications for three or four workstations like the Medivac Multipure. In choosing the right air purifier for your lab, each unit is designed to handle the volume of air in any given room. Our systems work by pulling air up through the bottom of the unit and pushing clean air back out into the room through the top. Maximum efficiency is achieved when the unit is positioned to pull air in from as many directions as possible. So in a perfect world, we'd recommend putting that unit right in the middle of your lab. Now, I realize that it may not be practical to have a unit sitting right in the middle of your lab. On the other hand, sticking the an air purifier in the corner of the lab limits the ability of the air purifier to do its job properly. Our air purifiers are equipped with casters, making them completely portable. As a true standalone design, there's no ductwork to install. Filter sequence can be easily changed to suit the needs of the lab. Plug and play design means being able to plug them into any regular 120 volt socket. All air purifiers are equipped with deep bed HEPA filters for cleaner air. Powerful brushless motors are designed to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And at 56 decibels, our air purifiers are among the most quiet on the market. And for an even quieter experience, we recommend turning the unit down to half speed during working hours and turn it back up to full speed at night when you leave the lab. We also get a lot of questions regarding the lifespan of our filters. Of course, if the vacuum is working all day in a heavy duty application, the filter's lifespan will be reduced and shortened. So this chart is a guideline that assumes an average workload. Starting with pleated filters, You'll see here that the recommendation for pre-filters that are in some of our systems should be changed every three to six months. And if that's being done regularly, the benefit to that is an increased main filter life. Main filters, like in our IVAC self-cleaning series, should be changed every 12 to 24 months. And again, in doing that properly on a regular basis, you'll increase the motor and the HEPA life and increase airflow. HEPA filters themselves should also be changed somewhere between 12 and 24 months, and that will lead to increased motor life and better airflow. On the capture filters that in need of disposal, you'll see here for our filter bag systems like the Jetstream and the um, Power Station series should be changed every when they get to about halfway full. And by doing that, that'll increase the HEPA and the motor life as well as improve airflow. For dust trays on our IVACs that need emptying, when they get to about one third or half full, they should be emptied out. In doing so, you'll increase the main filter life. And finally, in the cyclone collectors, when they get to be about half full, 
you should be emptying them out. If it gets heavier than that, it's very difficult to manage. Um, and you want to make sure that dust doesn't get sucked up from the bucket back into the dust collector. So in emptying it out when it's half full, you'll increase the filter and the motor life. For odor filter, they should be changed whenever you notice a difference in odor in the lab. Most filters use activated charcoal pellets to do the job, although some applications require a different chemical media. We just need to know exactly what the specific application is to determine the right filter sequence. In most cases, odor filters have an, a door at one end of the filter casing that flips open to allow for the disposal of carbon pellets. When ordering replacement for those odor filters, you'll receive a box of pellets. Simply refill the casing with the new replacement pellets. On average, pellets are replaced every 18 months or so. And here we see the specifics regarding the motors that we use in our systems. So the turbo motor, as I mentioned, has a lifespan of about 1,500 to 2,000 hours, but you'll have to change the brushes every 500 hours or so. The infinity motors also have a lifespan of about 1,500 to 2,000 hours, but there's no brushes um, replacement that's involved. So you just replace the motor whenever the brushes wear out. And of course, our brushless motors um, last typically about 20,000 hours, although we have heard of cases where they're lasting as long as 25,000 hours. We're always trying to improve on the products that we sell, as well as come up with new products. That's made easier by speaking to lab owners and technicians on a regular basis to get feedback or suggestions on how we can make their jobs easier. One of the most recent new products we came up with is a cleaning station for a milling application. The fully equipped Clearview cabinet has all the bells and whistles you need when a disc comes off the mill. Just connect your compressed air tube to the side of the cabinet and the suction unit at the back. Then use the included air gun to blow debris into a wide plexiglass funnel. Your work is made easier with the hinged two times magnifier lens. The magnifier lens can also be bought separately with or without LED lighting. The magnetic base and flexible arm offers you maximum versatility. And finally, as I mentioned earlier, just how useful our automatic slide valves are when trying to manage airflow in your lab. Well, we now have accessories that have integrated ASVs and magnifiers for an even easier way to manage your workload. Quattro will be attending the Lab Day Chicago in the main hall at the end of February of next year, as we have for many years. However, for the second year, we'll be in the Zahn Ballroom with some of our products, so please feel free to drop by to see what we're offering. Now, I realize we cover a lot of ground and that you may have an application that wasn't covered, and by all means, feel free to reach out to us for any application questions that you may need help with. If you have any questions or comments on this presentation, I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. I'll open up the floor and invite you to type in your questions. Uh, I really want to thank you all for your time and for tuning into this webinar. So if there's anything I can, uh, I can do to answer some questions, by all means, I'm here to help.